A few weeks ago, we were out here hunting on the New England mountains and we found a super, super awesome spot that had amazing potential to do a deer drive. Well, today we're heading back to that spot and I'm gonna show you exactly what happens. All right, so we're gonna start way over here by Drill Pass and we're basically gonna work our way down along this river straight directly to all these tree stands here. But once we get to about 600 yards out, what I'm gonna do is fast travel to this tent, get up into this tree stand here and wait for the deer to come. And here we go. Oh, fox, 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 fox. Ooh, I don't know what happened with that first shot. Oh, what do we got going down there? Bunch of white tail taking off down the river, down the river. One, two, three, four of them took off down there. What is up with that first shot? It looked promising, but we went right over the top of it. Second shot, looks like we didn't even connect either. Well, either, oh, we did connect. We hit something. All right, what was it? Oh, it was my, oh my God, no. It's the pig mythical coyote, you guys. That's the pig mythical that we were looking for from before. Oh man. I really hope we only hit him once. I really hope we only hit him once. Wait, there's a three. His tracks were going this way. Fresh tracks right here. Fresh tracks. Oh my God, should we cut across? Right there. Let's fast travel, let's fast travel. Okay, five, five, five is a 223, five is a 223. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we are, here we are. Where are they, where are they, where are they? There's a bunch of pheasant there, but we got to get in. Come on, they should be coming out. They should be coming out. There they go. Oh my God. Oh my God. There they go. What a perfect setup. One, two, three coyotes coming across here. Oh, what a sweet, sweet setup. Another one right there. There's a female. Another one right there. Another female. Oh my God, you guys. About 200 yards out. We got the AR-223. Unfortunately, the mythical already did, did go down, so we're going to... Man, this thing shoots high. Come on, get on him, get on him, get on him. Smoked him. Holy. Well, that is not what I was trying to do. I mean, we're shooting 250 yards and we're not getting any drop at all. Well, I suppose we should probably get ready because these whitetails should be coming across any second now. I mean, you could see just how perfectly that would work out though if you had a bunch of big bucks coming out here. You got 150 yards out all the way across this wide open field here. You would definitely be able to get a couple of really good opportunities for a shot. Got a pheasant out there. So check this out, 190 yards, and we are actually getting bullet rays with the AR-223, which should not be happening at all. It's pretty thick down there. I don't know if we're going to be able to see him, but right there, right there. Get on him, get on him. Take the shot. He's hit, he's hit, he's hit again. Uh, I don't know if we got them or not, guys. I really don't. But honestly, those coyotes there are kind of making me want to move my tree stand to... Oh, wow. Why didn't we put the tree stand here? Holy, are you seeing this? We could literally see all the way down to the river bottom from right here. I definitely need a tree stand here. But then again, if a deer busts through there, we're not going to have very much time to get a shot. But if we put our tree stand here... There's a really good chance we're going to be able to get some awesome shots all the way along here, all the way down to that river. And once it gets, say it busts out across here, you're really not going to have much of a chance. But there's going to be a guy down here, and that's going to be all him right there. So anyways, I think these are from pheasant. Oh, uh, no, that's a pheasant. But what is this? 
Cut into a rabbit. But here's the pheasant. All right, devs. Are you guys not seeing this right now? We're using AR-223. And we shot a pheasant right in the neck bone. Like right in the head with an AR-223. And it didn't even penetrate through into the neck bone. Let alone split the neck right in half, which is what it should have done. But if you're not seeing it from this point, then I don't know how else to really describe it to you. The AR-223 really, really does need a buff. Because that is pretty ridiculous. Plus, we took down one more as well. This should be our five. So, first shot we took. Are you kidding me? Come on. The same exact shot that we just took on that pheasant. And we didn't get any penetration. Dude, we literally drilled it right in the neck and shoulder. That thing would have rolled, done a backflip. And you would have been so pumped to go over there and get that coyote. I mean, that is absolutely unacceptable for an AR-223. But this right here is pretty sweet. Look at this. I mean, we took him on the run at 250 yards and we smoked him right in the neck. But honestly, look at how cool that looks, though. That looks awesome. That right there is so cool. So let's get back over here now and try and find... I'm going to mark this raccoon, but... We're going to try and find our mythical coyote. So right here's where we watched it run. We watched that whole pack run right through here. And we never actually did see that mythical come out. Well, we got blood here. That's our coyote. So, oh man, look at how close this coyote was to making it out, guys. I'm going to be sick to my stomach if it goes down like 20 yards before this opening out here. Zero percent. You got to be kidding me. You absolutely have to be kidding me. Look at where it went down. Oh, oh, dude. Look at where it went down. Right on the top here. If it would have taken 10 more steps forward, we would have seen it and been able to smoke him. Because we were in that tripod right down there. Right there, 160 yards out. And our wreck, our coyote piled up right here. I'm talking two more steps. We could have had that coyote. Look at that. Oh, wow. Well, at least like I said before, we did get him. And that's what's pretty cool. He's going to score 53.97. He's a dark gray and a massive mythical. And somehow, apparently, we hit it in the tail. But that tail shot did, in fact, take him down. Very unfortunate. I guess the 10 millimeter does have way more power than what I thought. I mean, I know it has a lot of power in real life, but I thought it'd be similar to the AR-223, right? But uh, clearly, I was wrong. Hit him in the tail, and it did take him down. Well, at least we got him. Our huge mythical coyote. Right there he is. But what I was saying is we had to have hit that bull one more time to be able to take him down with the AR-308, because one shot definitely would not take him down. There are white tail down there. connected big time oh we saved it got him about 350 yards on the run and smoked him got a nice long hit on that bull guys wow so that goes to show you never stop until it's over because you never know when you get a chance to put that perfect shot on him got him down to 25 percent thought i saw a moose there but all right, zero percent right there, right there, right there. Big buck, big buck, big buck. I'm empty, I'm empty. Oh my God. Oh, I'm just sick to my stomach right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <sighs> Shot looked into me, smoked him, guys. We got him. Holy big buck is hammered. And what a view. Look at this view here. Holy. Oh, there's more. There's more. Got an intestine hit on him. I couldn't quite get a good lead on him. Another buck there. 25%. Yeah, he's going down. However, take a look at this. 
So we're directly on the, oh, look at the honey pressure. We're directly on the opposite side of where we have our setup over here. And honestly, this spot here might be even better because we can see down all the way to there, pretty much 480 yards. We got moose coming back across. There's a bear right there. Another bear right there. Oh my God. Let's take a shot on the bear. Got two shots left. Smoked. That was a perfect shot. You can't tell me it wasn't. Yeah, that's what I thought. Perfect shot. She's going down. Should take it down. But yeah, I don't know where the other black bear did go. Holy, what I did find out though is this is definitely where I'm going to put a setup. Wow. Now, I don't know how you would do this setup here. But what I know is there's white teal here. I think moose over here. All right, so let's get back over here. And what I realized is we did not find our bull moose yet. We almost found him and then we jumped up that big white tail buck. So now I kind of lost his track unless that's him down right there. Yeah, that's him down right there. Okay, good. So here's our bull down that we took at about 350 yards on the run after a bad shot. Oh, so we did hit him three times. Unfortunately, um, we hit him too many times, but it doesn't matter too much anyways because he wasn't big enough to be a gold. Let's take a look at that first shot attempt there. 278 yards. Got him right in the... Oh, I can't tell you how many times we get ripped on hitting that back hind corner there. We were going straight for intestine, but it hit that backbone there and it stopped it almost on the spot. Then the second shot... Got him at 336 yards on the trot going through that woods there up that hill and got a nice left lung shot. And that is what connected and brought him down. Then we took another shot on the run and almost smoked him again at 340. Just dropped a little bit too low. So what I decided to do is actually set up a tripod and a tent here just because it seems like this spot's going to turn out super amazing. I want to show you guys what it's like. And so now we have two awesome setups. One over here across the river and one right here next to Resnetch lake and what we did is or what we're gonna do is go back over here come in from this lodge run down along the edge of this river and push everything to this point right here from here we'll fast travel over and see how it works all right guys let's get locked and loaded we got fresh tracks fresh tracks how do we do how do we do getting a call from a gobbler but we should be seeing stuff here any minute now oh my god you guys there they go look at how perfect this is nice buck out in the front Smoked him. Perfect shot. Holy, there's a bunch more. Going for a doe. I don't even know what to do. We should probably have the red dot on at this point, guys. They're, they're going through so fast. Big buck. He's hammered. He's hit good. He's hit really good. And a doe as well. Try for a back of the next shot. Didn't connect, but I think we still did hit her pretty good. And it looks like we have some moose taken off up there as well. <gasps> what a rush. I'll tell you what. If you're doing this kind of a drive here, you do not want to have the Argus scope. I repeat, you do not want to have the Argus scope. Man. Uh, well, I mean, you might want to if they're, you know, way out here. But in this case here, these white tail cut across right here. Less than 100 yards out from us. Holy that was so cool though just to see all those white tail kind of cross right in front of us man was that awesome i mean i feel like we probably could have even taken a quite a few down with even the red dot sight like that probably would have worked amazing but we still did get two or three down got a little bit of hunting pressure here so we did all right let's just say oh you know what these white tail might come back. I'm going to throw on the red dot. Here we go. If they come across here. Things are going to be looking pretty good for us. I'll tell you that. Oh my god, you guys. Here we go. Here we go. We got eyes on a doe coming across here. Only one, but there's the rest of them coming across right now. We got a buck coming right there. And a doe and another buck coming as well. Holy, here we go. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight deer coming across right now. All right, so let's see if we can't figure out what we want to do. We're probably going to go for that buck first. Even though I probably don't want the red dot on right now. 
Or do I? Maybe I do. Oh, we only have one bullet left. Oh, what a rip. Nice shot, though. He's down. Oh, 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 are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? We freaking smoke that deer. Oh, my God. I think we just took down three deer with the red dot at 200 plus. Wow. That was honestly the perfect choice. The absolute perfect choice for that moment right there. Had we had a couple more bullets than just one, it would have been quite a bit better, obviously, but... Oh, there they go! Okay, now we're a little bit further out, so we're going to be able to... Dude, we're taking down the whole freaking herd of whitetail. They're so far out, so I'm just holding high. Because I don't really have time to compensate for the lead. Woo! We definitely did that time. That thing is smoked. Wow. Alright. So, I'm not 100% sure. But, I am pretty sure. That we took down three whitetail. Including two bucks. Right there. I can't even imagine... How many whitetail or animals you could get from that spot if you have four or five different guys? Even if you have two guys pushing the river, one guy on the north side, one guy on the south side pushing to the west over here, and then you have two guys over here. I mean, you could just get tons of animals. Tons of them. All right, so here's the track from our max weight buck. There's blood there, but that looks like non vital hit. What are medium? Did we not smoke that buck? Oh. I don't know what we hit. But I don't know if we ended up getting a perfect shot on this buck or not. Either way, we did get him. And he's down. Oh. Just barely hit him too far back. I've taken that shot ten times. And let's just say 9 out of 10 times, I'm going to hit right here, right between the shoulder and the lung. So this time I tried to compensate a little bit more further back to get that angle. And we couldn't quite connect forward enough to be able to go through and get a liver. Still did take him down and a 213 beautiful white tail buck is down. I know we for surely hit a doe or two over here, but here's this nice buck 164. Got him at 116, but look at how high up we are taking that shot. Stomach, liver, and right lung on that 164 nice white tail all right so let's go over here and pick these up either way we got two bucks down there is the one trivia we got him on the run at 250 right in the back of the neck even if there was a little bit of luck involved that's still a pretty epic shot but now this buck over here i am really curious where we hit all right let's find out there's an epic shot right there. There's an epic shot right there. 214 yard, perfect left lung shot. Got him on the walk with the red dot. Just clip the front of the lung there, but honestly almost did get a double lung shot. So very cool shot with the red dot at over 200 yards. There's some pretty decent blood, actually really good blood right here. And there's a deer piled up right here. So that's one of them. And it should be a doe. Yeah, 405 yard. Beautiful left lung shot there on that doe. And we got more blood over here. Non-vital hit and blood rate medium. I don't know if it's from the same doe or not. Probably. Got another doe track there. But nope. It's actually two different deer. Because we got blood there and we got blood here. Something's taken off. Can't make out what it is. Oh, it's a turkey. It's a turkey. Wait, that is not a turkey. That is a ringneck pheasant. Hey, but there's a deer down right here. Look at this. Had we not seen that pheasant, we never would have known this deer was here. 418 yard intestine, almost perfect long intestine shot, but just barely got intestine. Then got him on the run at 450. Intestine as well. 
Anyways, that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.